Welcome back, guys, to a brand new episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Excited to jump in today. We've got a couple things planned out. First thing is we're working on a couple of the different things we found in the last couple episodes, which is the laser cutter. I've got the stuff for it. We just need to grab it out. I think it's two diamonds. It's sulfur. Might be two sulfur and then two titanium. I think something like that. Let me see here. Tools and laser cutter. And then whatever we don't use, we'll go ahead and put back. But there we go. Bam, laser cutter. Now we can get to some of those doors that we found that we couldn't get through. We've also got some batteries charging up over here. Hopefully they'll be done soon because I really need some more battery action. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff back in here. And let's put this on slot 5 for right now. Okay. There we go. Bam, the laser cutter for the first time. Yeah, awesome. Now we can get into some spots. Now, if you guys watched the last episode, we left our sea truck way out there. It's almost a full kilometer away, 900 meters away, and it is stuck in this little, like, I don't even know what you call it. It's stuck in a little spot. It's going to be really hard to get back to. So what I need to make, though, in order to get myself out of there because the battery was about to die on it, I need to make these things. The Oh, I just had them down. Hold on. Where are they at? These right here, power cells. Either I can make power cells, that'll put them at 100%. Let me see how much it costs to make them. To make it, it is battery times two and silicone rubber. So really not too expensive. I could definitely make a couple. Or we can make the charger. Like we made the battery charger, we can make the power cell charger. It's a little expensive. Advanced wiring kit, titanium, and lithium. I don't know that we have lithium. And I think last episode we looked and we didn't have any of the lithium left. So I think we need to probably go out... Doing a little bit of gathering of that, but let me just double check before we run out and do this this long search for something that we don't need. No, nope, looking all right. Yep, no, no lithium from what I saw there. So we do need, uh, we need a battery. Oh, that's good. We got more batteries. Let's go. Ahead, in fact, let's go ahead and switch these guys out. So we'll go. I think this guy needs a new battery. All right, this guy needs a new battery. There we go. That extra battery can go in there. This one can go back. Actually, we need to keep that one. And we're going to go ahead and make a couple power cells. So let's, we, need, we need for that, we need batteries times two and silicone rubber. So let's get that. So batteries, I just literally saw another one. Hold on. Uh, oh, that's right. We just took them off of here. So we'll go like this. All right. We're going to go ahead and not charge those two up. We probably need one more. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and take... There we go. All right, so that's two and two. And then I need... What else do we need here? Power. Power cell. Now we need silicon rubber. I need at least two silicon rubber. There's one. And two. All right, let's go like this. Like that. Power cell. And power cell. There we go. Awesome. That gives us two power cells. Now we can go out and give batteries in, in our thing out there. That's a lot of noise out there. All right. Let's go ahead and drop these two. I've got a little bit of food and water going. I do want to make at least one more water before we take off. As soon as I figure out where my fish are. Let's do this, that, water, make it. So we'll drink one water. Ooh. Oh, every time we make something, the power flickers just a little bit. Kind of cool. All right. I also need... So we still need that stuff that's up on the top up there. We'll start looking for that here really soon. Kind of want to see what all that craziness is got another storm going all right here we go long trip it's gonna be a really long trip to get back out there but we'll do this we'll do our intro real quick and then i'll meet you guys out there if you guys enjoy the video hit the like button subscribe if you leave a comment down below thank you for all the support on the recent videos go people i've seen commenting i really do appreciate the tips and tricks and just the love in general it really does mean the world to me let's get out here and do this thing now we also want to work on making the other part of the sea truck which you can see pinned up to the top right I need the alloy, and then we can make it. I pretty much can do the computer chip right now. I can do. I already have the lead, but we need lithium, and uh, was it? And then lots of titanium in order to make that. So it's not too hard. It just takes a little while. But yeah, let's go all the way out here. We'll do a little bit of searching and looking around. We did unlock a couple other blueprints in the last episode as well. There's a headlamp. We got the laser cutter that you see in my inventory, and there was one other one. I can't. Oh, the prawn suit, right? The prawn suit. We we finally got some of that going. We need to make, though, a vehicle spot. So hold on, let's go back up here. So I think we unlocked the moon bay, right? Did we? We did, the moon pool. Okay, cool, cool. So we did unlock that, so we can get into that here really soon as well. Let's go ahead and get some oxygen, continue out there. And yeah, it's, it's in a weird spot. We have to kind of go down through this little jet area. 
Watch out for the scary monster over there. And is that the only one? Hopefully. That's the only thing I've seen so far that's a little bit scary. But we did find lots of stuff the last couple episodes. It's been a lot of fun because we've been finding the robotics lab. We found a area where I can cut through the ice with the laser cutter, which is where we're going as soon as I get the sea truck. But the sea truck's right down here. We found a cool way to get down below everything, but I couldn't get the sea truck back out. It was a little, a little tight, a little bit of a tight fit. Let's get some oxygen, then we'll go ahead and dive down right here. You just gotta look for these little jets. Here we go. Yeah, pretty much you look for these little stacks right here. And then in here somewhere, there's a couple little valleys that we can go down. There it is. And hopefully we can make it to this guy. There we go. Yep, please don't come get me if there's something chasing me. Wait for that. I cannot see very well. There we go. Oh, watch out. Okay, where'd it go? Sea truck, sea truck. 116. See, it's really close. But I just don't know which way to go. Okay, please don't take too much damage. Be careful. Sea truck's right around the corner. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we got stuck down here. We couldn't get it out. So we'll have to see if we can go up that same way we just came in. Here we go. Also, I don't remember if there was anything down here that we needed to check out. All right. So we'll go like this. Power cell. Got it. And then we'll go like this. Power cell. And then we'll get in. Bam! Now we got oxygen. And we're in this awesome little sea truck. Very, very cool. All right. Let's put that away. Pilot the sea truck. And let's go. All right. Now we'll try to get our way out. And then we'll go over to this place where we can cut, do the little laser cutter. I don't remember where else we saw that needed the laser cutter. We'll have to kind of look around for that. But first, let's let's get out of here first. Ow. Really? I think it was right here. Hopefully we can get through all this today. Yeah, we just got... We were kind of getting short on time and on our battery power. So let's see if we can get out of here now. Come on. Yeah, see, just a, a couple of these spots. It's just so tight. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we're not doing too much damage to our poor little truck here. Can we make it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to go first to this little ice, ice cut spot. So we're going to go straight over there. And then we'll kind of make our way around and see if we can find that lost ship that we found out there. And then we'll move on from there. But I'm really hoping that we can find this spot and cut through the ice. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, I wish we had, like, some turbo boosters on this thing. And we definitely, definitely need to find the next, what do you call it, the next depth module in order to go a little bit deeper, which is something we got to definitely do to continue the storyline. And other than that, we're still just kind of looking for stuff that our, our little guy is telling us to find. And he chimes in every once in a while, the little alien that's stuck in our head, he chimes in every once in a while and tells us places to go look. But he hasn't said anything in a while. We'll go check this out. I'm hoping the laser cutter cuts through this. Ooh. Okay. Not ideal. Oh, they make some awful noises when I hit them. Oh, it's some giant jellyfish. This game is so beautiful. This is my favorite part of the game. I think every video, I, I at least once or twice, talk about how beautiful I think this game is. I think it is one of the coolest looking games I've ever played. Always a fan. All right, and we are currently, currently looking to build or buy a new computer. Finally, I've been saving up for like two years. Uh, it's not going to be anything crazy, crazy OP. I don't have that kind of money, but but we're definitely trying to upgrade and get a little bit better computer. I'm really, really excited for it. It's going to be super amazing. All right, here we go. Let's go. Yeah, we dropped a thing here just so we could find it again. There we go. Go down here. Let's pick up this stuff. What you got here? A little bit of copper action. Nice. Anything here? Oh, nice. Definitely give me that cool I'll definitely take that all right so does this cut through here no oh I thought for sure hmm not gonna happen huh do I have the right tool laser cutter penetrating standard titanium doors oh so it doesn't work there that's too bad Got some more copper. 
There we go. Got that stuff. All right, and we already went out to the spot where it says that the the pilot lady where she disappeared at. So there's not much we can do there. All right, there we go. Ow. Oh, you know what? I'm going the wrong way, but I also need to grab that thing. Or should we leave it there? Let's leave it there because we might need to find it later. All right, let's scoot back. All right. So we had gone this way, I think it was. Let me just peek over here. Yep, we went up there. And there's a couple spots over here that we wanted to check out. We need to be able to get up there, but I don't know how to get up there yet. Can we get out right here? Oh, what is that? That's a crazy looking fish. All right, so we jump up here. Okay, jump on top. And jump. All right, let's just do a quick look up here. I want to see. Let's get a little bit of heat. No? Oh, only if it's going. The little geyser thing. All right. Keep going this way. We'll jump back in the water if we get too cold up here. Just kind of search around each edge real quick. Okay. Oh, there's a cave. That seems a little ominous. We have a flashlight. This will work. Oh, look at that. Titanium for days. All right, I'm not going to go too far this way because I don't want to get too far from the sea truck. Also, wish, I wish it was daytime for sure. Can we get anything from this? No. And I know at some point we're going to find some creatures that live above the snow. It's going to happen. I'm sure it'll be another heart attack moment. All right, back at the starting point. Let's go up here. Let's see if we can make our way up this thing. Okay, definitely here. In, oh, here we go. Let's get a little warm. Let's go ahead and drink some water. All right, let's go around this way and see if we can make our way up. No. Doesn't look like it goes up. Let's just keep going this way. We got some more penguin buddies. Oh, here we go. A little cave inward. This definitely looks new. Oh, the noise, this, the, the music just changed big time. Okay. Another site found. Oh. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I okay. Will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, he's got a signal for us. Fevered pepper tree, what is this? Can we get something off that? No? Oh, we can get something out of the middle. What does this do? Spicy edible pepper. 15 food and 15 water. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. That is awesome. Okay. All right. Signal is right there. Two, oh, it's a long ways away. Oh, look at this. What in the world? Oh, it looked like at first. Look, it looked like like a desert oasis. Look at that. As you get closer, it's not quite what we thought. Okay. This is cool looking. It is kind of desert oasis looking. All right. No, it's just more snow area. Oh, we just came back to the same spot. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. All right, this is confusing. Did we? Did I get turned around? We came out up here, right? Oh, I'm sitting here thinking we found something new. I don't think we did. Let's try this again. Maybe I just got turned around. All right, here we go. Came in here. Saw this pepper plant. We took a right. Okay, I got turned around. I'm super special, guys. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's scan this guy. Alien artifact. 
Okay. Energy generator. I just kind of look around for anything that's on the ground. Another ion cube. Thank you. Interesting. So obviously we have to repair this somehow, right? All right, he wants to talk to us. Let's see what he's got. With such a fallible and inferior body. Excuse you. My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Alright, so he talked to us about his stuff again. That guy's always interjecting about how we're no good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to grab just a little bit of this just because there's a bunch of it right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. Are we getting it? Yeah, we are. There we go. Alright, let's get back in the C truck. Go through the back here. There we go. Alright, and then we'll put that over here. Alright, here we go. Back on the road again. Got ourselves a couple things. Dropped off a couple things. Now we're going to head a little bit further towards this thing. Hopefully we get a cinematic once we get close to this location again. I feel like they're kind of close to each other, but we can't, probably can't go all the way down to it because our ship can only go down to 300. So we'll go as far as we can, then we'll jump out and then go down on our own if we can. Hopefully there's no issues with that. Yeah, alright. Back through this area. The life that grows within. Okay. Quick note about the area, I guess. Go ahead and just peek into it just a little bit. Oh, that music is always so eerie. Alright, can't go too deep. Watch for bad things. Music in this game, man, I tell you. It's got some of the most haunting music of any game we've played. Oh my god, look at that thing. Also, look at that thing. <laughs> All the bad things. Okay. I do want to see a couple of things hanging off here. See what these are. Alright, that thing is getting a little too close. I just want to see what this thing on the wall is. Hopefully it doesn't come get us. Let's do this really quickly. Oh, man. Be careful. Please don't come eat my face. It's got a crazy mouth, whatever it is. Is it... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Is it coming? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right. Seems safe. I definitely want to explore more, but that thing is super scary. Let's go. Let's just look down here really, really quick. If it starts coming, we, we jet out. Okay. Oh, well, we got a scan here. Tree Spire. I'm just going to keep that guy in my sights. We're going to do like seven days of dying where we just kind of look around the whole time as we're moving around. Look down here really quick. Because this is usually where we find some new stuff, so I'm hoping. Here we go. Now, nah, silver. We can always use silver. Copper ore. Go down. Oh, God. Scared. That was my own flipper that scared me there. There we go. Okay. Nothing too new. Look at that thing, though. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. Okay. All right. I'm going to watch my oxygen. We're just going to kind of sneak in just a little. Yeah, ruby. We definitely need ruby. That thing, those things are always required for like all the recipes. Here we go. Give me one. Give me two. The sounds down here are insane. There we go. Some gold. Okay. Let's just get this quickly and then we're going to head back up. Got it. Got it. Oh my god, there's so many things. Okay, we got to get back up. Okay, get it. Okay, back up, back up. Don't get lost. Ah. 
Okay, back to the sea truck. Ooh, we're kind of far away for 40 seconds of oxygen. There we go. Get that. Just trying to get some things on the way. Probably not the best idea. 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. All right, not not too bad, not too bad. Warning. Yep, I know. We got this. Remaining. All right, get back up here. All right. Awesome. Okay. Whew. All right, so we got some really good supplies out of that. The problem is we're going to be very, very full on our inventory. So let's go back up. Let's go back towards where we were going here. Yeah, because it's a little bit that way. Let's go up and over. Oh, God, is that the fish? Is that the fish? It sounds close. <laughs> the noises down here just... Everything sounds close, like it's about to get you. All right. Last known position, and architect. All right, this is where we're going here. Those look a little more docile. I'm not as worried about those. Just little shark things. All right, we're gonna go down towards it in just a second. All right, downward, let's go. Let's see if we can find anything cool. This is such a cool looking environment down here. I do wish it was a little bit lighter, but we're not gonna adjust the light. I know a lot of people have told me that I need to like adjust the gamma, but I'm trying not to do that because I want it to be like as intended, kind of dark like this. Yeah, see this is where this thing is at. And there, see there's those things. I wanna follow those. We're gonna come right back to that. Let's go down towards the thing. I thought we found this one already. I feel like we found this. Ow, my bad. Not the best piloting. We can't go too much deeper. We gotta be careful. We're at 258. Uh oh. Another artifact. Yes, although. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, did he add another one? Oh, we got two different ones. 512 and 371. Let's go as close as we can, and then we'll jump out. Okay. This is as close as we can get. I think we can make it there, though. Let's go. Let me double check one more time, make sure we can't drop some more stuff. There we go. All right, there's that one. All right, uh, we're gonna drop one of these. Let's go like this. And there, and there. All right. I'm gonna drop this stuff here. So let's drop and drop. Let's go. Ooh, I don't know, can we make it there? We're gonna try. Uh, it's a little deeper than I thought. Just go, don't look back. 200 meters. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Okay. Oh, this is crazy looking. Alright, I can't quite get to it, it looks like. Dang, it's still a little ways. It's 140 meters below. We might have to wait until we can get, like, the prawn suit, maybe. Did we, did we unlock the prawn suit? Let me look for that real quick, because we might have to go get that and then come back over here. Oof, okay, we definitely have the stuff for the prawn suit, but we need we need a couple more things to do that. What about the depth modules? Sea truck depth module MK1, MK2, we can't make yet because we don't know how to make synthetic fibers. I don't think we've learned that one yet. Definitely not, okay. All right, uh, we got some work to do before we can get down there, guys. We gotta start finding some more supplies, so let's do that now. Oh, okay. Please don't come eat my face. All right, these things are definitely chasing just a little bit, I think. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's go. I don't know what that is, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You can hear it just chomping at me. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, that's the whale-looking thing. Okay, we're okay. Let's not make them mad. Oh, my God, this is so creepy. Ooh, you don't attack, do you? Please don't attack. Let's see how close we can go to this one, then we'll decide if we can go down. Inactive 
volcano detected nearby. Oh, we're close to this one. All right, this one we might be able to do, guys. Let's creep down just a little. 260. Okay. Some volcano action. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, we getting attacked by anything? Just do a quick spin around. Oh, jeez. That looks like one of the big scaries. Please don't come attack me. All right, ready? We are... I can't look at it directly, but I think we're like 100 meters above. Okay, ready? Go. Go fast. We'll come back out and get a bunch of these rubies when we come back up. Ooh, and diamond. I definitely need the diamond. All right, alien artifact. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Okay. Let's hurry down here and scan this thing. Please don't be anything scary attack me. Oh, and volcano stuff. Okay, scan it. See if he tells us anything new. Uh, ground sampler. That's kind of cool. New Does that mean that we can make it? New blueprint synthesized. We're gonna have to, oh, synthetic fiber. We can make synthetic fibers. I need spiral plant clipping. Aha. Alright, give me that. Okay, so we can make synthetic fibers, which means we, we can make the next depth module if I can find this spiral plant thing that they're talking about. There is so much stuff in here. Can I make a... No, we need our, our fabricator. Alright, we have to come back to this. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find it again, though. Okay, as we were looking, we need spiral plant clipping. I've never seen that before. I don't know what it looks like. Spiral plant clipping. All right, we have to find whatever this spiral plant is. All right, we found a docking platform. That's cool. Ow. Look around for a few more pieces here. All right, I definitely want that down there. All right, we're going to do a little bit of just kind of grabbing and, and, and running real quick here down here. We're going to grab as much of this kind of stuff as we can. I don't have a lot of inventory space, but we'll see what we can get. And we'll see if we can find these other pieces of the sea truck. Apparently, there's a lot of pieces that you can get, which is so cool. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Might be the same piece. Now we got one of the bad fish above us. Be careful. All right, scanner ready. Go. Sleeper module. Oh, my God, please don't get me. Nope, nope. Okay, go. <laughs> Gotta be so careful. You know, we're finding just kind of bits and pieces. Ooh, what's this? Here we go. This is what we need. We got a piece plus whatever that is over there. Let's see. Aha, check this out. What do we find? Anything good? A booster tank. Ooh. New blueprint synthesized. Ragged pincher plant. Okay. Oh, lithium. I need that so bad. Perfect. Look at that. Alright, there's the piece right there. This is another sleeper module. That's kind of cool. I'm excited to see what that is. Lithium, lithium. Get it. All right, we need that for a couple things that we were trying to build. There we go. What do we got here? Battery. Awesome. This is a nice little crevasse. This is good. All right. How's my oxygen? Oxygen's good. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Another artifact. The location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is cool. hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Okay, cool. He gave us the location of yet another spot. 
Let me double check these little cave areas. Need, oh yes, lithia. Oh, he's got something for us. Cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that? I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. No, oh, inefficient. <laughs> Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Okay. I do like the little interactions between these two. It's kind of cool. There you go. Sleeper truck module. Let's see. Let me see how we make it and see what it says about it. All right. Sleeper truck module. There you go. Make, make your sea truck feel more like a home. Plant steel, lead, and fiber mesh. That might be makeable like super soon. There we go. All right. Let's keep looking around. All right. We're going to throw up a few things just to get them out of the inventory. So we're going to throw up a couple posters. And then we got a framed picture and a little desk thing. Can put it right there. Bam. That kind of floats. Not a very good spot for it. All right. I think that's the main stuff there. Let's go ahead and drop a couple more things. I need that. All right. I think we can make this fabricator module. It's plasteel, computer, and lead. Let me see if we have that. Plasteel, computer, and lead. We definitely have the stuff for it. Let's get our things back down to our inventory. Let's see, number two, three, no, no, three and four, no, one and two, something like that. All right, so now we need to go ahead and make the class steel. So for that, we need, need the lead and the class steel I think I just set down. There we go. All right, then we can make class steel. Got it. And now I just need a computer chip. And we can make that next module. So let's go like this. Computer chip. And then we go back up here and we can make that piece. Alright, where are we at here? So this is a pretty good addition. I think this will probably be the end of the episode here. This is a definitely good addition for this. So we'll go like that. So now I have a mobile fabricator. Like that, like that, and fabricator module. All right, makes a thing. Now, for rec for record, I need to see what the other stuff cost. Really, really cool. All right, let's go hook up to it. Kind of look how this looks with three different things on it. There we go. All right. There we go. So now we hook up to this thing. There we go. Nice. So now we got an extra thing. Now this has a fabricator in it so we can make things inside of here. How cool is that? So now we don't have to go back all the way. If we've got things to make, I can make food and water on the run. Those kind of things there. I've got lots and lots of storage space. So that's kind of huge. All right. The sleeping module. We'll see if we can make that. I guess that's like a bed and stuff like that. We can check that out real quick. Let me see what we need for it. We might be able to make it. If not, we'll wait until the next episode to do that. I still need to find this spiral plant because that's the next depth module. Let me just double check here. Upgrades. No, it's not made there. I think we need... Oh, we, hold on. We need the... This guy. And we need to make... Not the thermal implant. Or the thermal plant. Uh, here we go. What is that? Recycles items into their regular, their old school parts. Okay. We need this right here, the modification station. So diamond and computer chip. Let's make a computer chip. So for the computer chip, I need copper, gold, and coral. Of course, coral. Always coral. 
Um, I don't think I have any. None. Nothing. Okay. Let me drop as much as I can real quick. And then we're going to go get coral. It's not too far off. We know how to get it now. All right. Table coral. Let's see if we can find a couple of these this time. Because we're always having to come back here. All right. I think we have enough coral to make. We got to make the computer chip for that. I need coral. And then I need gold and copper wire. For that, I just need copper. Let's grab some copper. Gold. And the search for copper. Here we go. And then turn that into copper wire. Like so. And then we turn the copper wire into the wiring kit. No, the computer chip. Dang it. Oh, we still have Okay, we still have that. <laughs> Crafted the wrong stuff. That was almost really bad. All right, now I've already forgot what we were making. Uh, let's see. Are we making the other... Oh, no, we're making the modification station. Okay. Sorry, all that time we kind of forgot. All right, now I just need a diamond. So let's get some diamonds. There we go. All right, and modification station. Put this guy right here. And this allows us to make the other depth module, I think. I hope. All right, so we can make thermal blade, depth module MK2, and prawn suit MK2, sea truck MK3. All right, so for that, I need two ruby, got it, enamel, enameled glass. I think I can make it, and then the synthetic fibers which is what we got to work on now so let's go synthetic fibers all the way up here at the top so we'll get rid of that get rid of that or put that on and that's where we need the spiral plant clipping i have no idea where to find that just yet uh i think that's the main stuff we can make this real quick let's do it let's turn that knife into a thermal knife there you go a little bit of an upgrade nice all right cool we got the thermal blade and then i think that's it guys I'm pretty happy with that progress. We got quite a bit done today. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, all those kind of things. I really do appreciate the support, guys. We are several episodes into this. Can't wait to get into the next couple. Uh, but, yeah, seriously, thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.